So, uh, don't ask. It's not out yet. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take some questions right after that. So, if you wanted to, as we show some of the top secret stuff, you can go to adafruit.it slash discord and join the 15,000 of us. As we talk about some of the top secret stuff, you can start posting up some of your questions there, but nothing yeah. to do with the top secret stuff. Okay, what is this? Top secret, this is uh, LSM 303 AG. So we've had quite a few LSM 303 accelerometer, sorry, accelerometer magnetometers. Now, there's no gyro, there's a G in the name, but there's no gyro in the chip. Um, so this one is the latest one to come from ST, and we're going to make a breakout for it because people are loving the S LSM 303s. Okay. What's this? This is uh, the Airlift Bitsy Wings. That's coming soon. Okay. Very exciting. What's this? This is a USB-C version of our micro LiPo. Uh, so people who want to charge their LiPo batteries from a USB-C connector will soon be able to do that with our simple and low-cost micro LiPo boards. People are loving these. And uh, we, uh, for this version, we broke up the USB data lines because that's been a common request. This appears to be a gigantic Pi Portal. That is the 3.5 inch Pi Portal. And, and this seems soon. to be like a tiny Pi Portal. And that's the Pi Portal Pint, which is a little, yeah. little one, a 2.4 inch Pi Portal. Okay. So we're making big ones and small ones. That's right. This looks like a round display. It is a round. Well, it's kind of semi-circular. Yeah. So it's got, it uh, looks like, a, you know, five eighths of a circle. Right. Uh, it's an ST7789, so it works just fine with CircuitPython or Arduino, and we're just displaying an image. I'm just testing it out, seeing if the pinout they said it is is the pinout it is, which it is. All right, and here's some new features that we're working on for our AR app. So if you happen to have an iPhone, you can download our Adafruit AR app. We're updating it all the time. This shows things like the copper and the solder base. Yeah, it kind of lines up the Gerber file, which is kind of cool and weird. Okay. We also have a preview of image transfer with Bluefruit, so you can see. Yep, this is coming soon. So we'll be able to get images from your image library on a phone, and this will be for iOS as well as Android, although iOS seems to be much faster. Uh, and then you can transfer an image, and you can see it, it shows up on the Bluetooth device. All right. Uh, last week we talked about this Orbit Reader. It's a Braille reader. And uh, Isaac helped me out get this project that I wanted to get started. Um, what you're about to see is uh, live Braille coming out of a Python REPL. So here, here it is. And then I, I zoomed in so you can see the individual um, piezos pop up the, 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 the Braille word. So here you go. We are working on a ton of e-ink, e-paper displays of all different shapes and sizes, including flexible ones. And we're also doing what we think is the ultimate guide that'll be on learn.adafruit.com on how to optimize your images for all the different displays. This looks really good and creepy because it's so photographic looking, but it's only a you know, quote three color uh, display. Dithering is amazing. Yeah, and this is what it looks like when you toss the image on. Um, it uses circuit Python, so all you have to do is plug it in, shows up a USB drive, and then this is it loading the image and displaying it. Neat. Uh, if uh, you want to, Lady Ada, you can reset that one right there, and you could do a live demo of uh, this is terminal on, on e ink. Yeah, the terminal shows up after you're done with the um, yeah. displaying part. And so here it is. And uh, it's it's unusually good. I've I've had tons of e-ink displays in my life over like the last 15 years or so. This one in particular, and the the ease of use is incredible. Yeah. So, anyways. Built into Circuit Python now. Yeah. And uh, with that, Lady Ada is uh, top secret. Okay.